Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This time I'm going to show you how to get all the golden spatulas in Ghoul Lagoon. The way this guide will work is I will not be showing you how to get them in the order that they appear on the pause screen. Instead, I'll show you how to get them in the order that they generally become available to you. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the first golden spatula, save the children. Just past the lifeguard stand area, you will come across Mrs. Puff, and she'll let you know that five children are floating away on balloons nearby. What you need to do is use Bubble Bash just underneath them, and that will free them from their balloons and effectively save them. There are five children in total, and they're all in this general vicinity. The first one is just behind where you're standing, where you meet Mrs. Puff, so go ahead and press triangle underneath that one to use Bubble Bash. And then the next one is in the wood pillar section just behind that. Uh, there is one floating along, so you just want to wait until the little X icon uh, just comes across you, and then just press triangle. The next one is in the next area. There is a wood pillar that you can knock further up to kind of rotate it and build a bit of a ladder for yourself. And then you just use Bubble Bash once the child is above you. Next up, the final two are in this precarious wooden pillar section in the goo. So you want to Bubble Bash the first one. And then you need to do some uh, tricky platforming because these wood pillars do move uh, as you're trying to traverse. But you want to use these trampolines. Make your way around to the other side of the wood pillars. And then this is the final kid right here. So I recommend coming onto this pillar in the middle here. They do begin to sink as you stand on them. So just try to be patient and then bubble bash. And if you notice the pillar is getting too low, you can jump and then bubble bash to get a little bit of extra height. But just return to Mrs. Buff and she'll give you the first golden spatula. Next up, we have the golden spatula called King of the Castle. In the section just past Mrs. Puff, you will be able to climb along uh, a sand castle effectively. You gotta go through some goo and then navigate some platforming, destroy some cannons, and at the end of this uh, platforming and combat challenge area, you'll get the next golden spatula. Moving right along, we have Over the Moat, and this is available with Patrick, so you want to uh, get Patrick and go back to the sandcastle area. You will need to pay a clamshell here, I think it's like 1200 shiny objects. It will reveal a switch, so go ahead and throw the throw fruit at the switch and then make your way across these platforms. Uh, I think this area is really funny looking. You have these pool floats that somehow Patrick is weightless on. They don't sink. Uh, and then you have these inflatable dragons that breathe fire. I just think that's so funny. So you got your final three rafts here, and then the golden spatula is in sight. Just a heads up, there's no quick exit from this area unless you teleport back to uh, what I recommend is the king of the castle spatula. Otherwise, you got to walk back manually. So once past the king of the castle spatula, you can go into the caves. And then uh, there's a lot to do here, a lot of shiny objects to get, a couple socks. Um, but the golden spatula is very easy to get right from the start. So you want to uh, make your way to this middle island and then stand on the wooden pillar you see here. Press triangle to do a bubble bash. That will hit a switch that will drop a stalactite. That one falls. Another one falls behind it. Just kill these two robots. And then you can hop along and get the golden spatula. Now we're going to move into the boardwalk area. And first up in the boardwalk area is the Tower Bungee. So once you gain control of SpongeBob on the boardwalk, you want to pay this clamshell here to reveal a trampoline. You want to bounce on it to go all the way up to the crow's nest lookout up here, and there's a bungee cord to attach yourself to. This is a very easy spatula. You don't really have to do any challenging bungeeing. You just jump onto it and get it. Uh, so that is Tower Bungee. Up next, we're going to have Clean Out the Bumper Boats. So clean out the bumper boats. You regain control of Patrick uh, along your way on the uh, boardwalk, throw a throw fruit at the switch, and then hop up to the bumper boat arena, and then just take out all the robots. And this is the spatula that Mr. Krabs uh, told you about that he would give you if you destroyed all the robots. This is that one. So once you have this, go ahead and warp back to Mr. Krabs. There is a cardboard teleportation box just past that arena. So use that instead of uh, using a pause warp. This way you can go back really quick. But that is clean out the bumper boats. Next up, also with Patrick, we have Slip and Slide Under the Pier. Just near the cardboard box teleport, you'll find a couple platforms with a freeze cube. So you go ahead and throw that into the goo. And then you want to make your way to this next freeze cube. And then as soon as you get onto this platform, if you want to pick it up and throw it, it will reset your timer. Just like that, you get another 18 seconds. Okay, and then you want to keep going along. You can see the golden spatula, it is in sight. And then once you grab it, you can either uh, freeze cube your way back or you can just teleport back to Mr. Krabs and use a teleport box. For the final golden spatula, which is called Connect the Towers, 
what we're going to do is you want to make your way through the final part of the boardwalk area to warp back to the beach. And then you want to go back to the lifeguard stands and make sure these green switches are hit on each of these lifeguard stands. So it's the one you just saw there, the one on the right on that first one. This next one just next to it is left. So you want to make sure that one is hit. The one on the island over here, I'll show you this one real quick. And in case you're having trouble crossing that goo, you can just bounce on the guy floating around. But on here, it's the one on the left as well. And then we're gonna make our way back across the beach to this tower to our left right here. And this is the switch on the right side, just behind the checkpoint. And then beyond that is another lifeguard stand, which you do have to do a little bit of platforming to get to just behind this other checkpoint. There's a lot of checkpoints in this first beach area, uh, but this is the one on the right. So once you have all those hit, you want to, and the ray of sun is shining towards the distant lookout tower that you now have the uh, warp back to. And again, this, this warp will only be here if you finish the boardwalk area. So this warp is not here at the beginning. That's why I'm putting this spatula last. But once you are on the distant island, you want to press the switch on the right and it will shine the sun beam onto the robot, kill it, and then your final objective is to just return to Larry, speak to him one more time, and he will give you this level's final golden spatula, although it's listed as the first, which is connect the towers. And that's it. That's how you get all eight golden spatulas in Ghoul Lagoon. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my community Discord server. A little link for that is in the video description below. If you're looking for more guides for SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.